are complementary if the sum of their angles is 90 degrees. Let's start with 90 degree angles. Remember 90 degree angles are also called right angles. We're going to take our right angle and break it, break it down into two smaller angles, a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. When we add together these two angles, 30 plus 60 gives us 90, so therefore these two angles are complementary. Here our complementary angles are also adjacent because they have a shared vertex and a shared edge. But what if we simply had two separate angles, a 35 degree angle for example and a 55 degree angle? Would they still be complementary? Well if we add them together, 35 plus 55, we would get 90, so they are complementary angles. If we want to test it out, we could cut them out and put them within our right angle to make adjacent angles. When we do that, we see that they fit within our right angle, so they are still adding up to a sum of 90 degrees. In both the examples that we've done, the angles that we've used have been acute angles. Acute angles measure less than 90 degrees. Since we want the sum of our complementary angles to add up to 90, we couldn't use anything larger like obtuse angles. What if we take our right angle though, and instead we break it down into three acute angles, 30, 30, and 30 for example. Well 30 plus 30 gives me 60, 60 plus 30 gives me 90. So would these three angles be considered complementary angles? If we go back to the beginning, we said that complementary angles were made up of two angles that add up to 90. Here, no matter what combination we use, two angles are only going to add up to 60 degrees. So anything more than two angles are not going to be complementary even if they add up to 90. Since complementary angles are defined as a pair of angles, we can find the missing angle with and without pictures. Here we can see that we have a 90 degree angle and that these two angles are adjacent, therefore they're complementary. That tells me that 15 degrees plus some unknown amount is going to total up to 90 degrees. So to find that missing amount, we're going to have to do 90 minus 15. So our missing angle here comes out to be 75 degrees. In this example, they simply tell us to find the complement of 54.6 degrees. Well, complementary angles means I have two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So that means 54 and 6 tenths degrees plus some unknown known angle amount are going to be worth 90. So to find what the complement is, I'm going to have to do 90 minus 54 and 6 tenths. Now follow our rules for decimals, add our decimal point and our placeholder 0. Go back and do our borrowing. 10 minus 6 leaves me with 4. 9 minus 4 leaves me with 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down my placeholder or my decimal point and that means the complement of 54 and 6 tenths degrees comes out to be 35 and 4 tenths degrees.